Hey everybody, Scary Spikes here with you again, and thanks for joining me for another episode of Friday Night Magic. And tonight we're going to be playing a Golgari deck. Uh, this is mainly just black and green, and it's a somewhat of a recursion deck, but also features spider spawning. So its goal is basically to get a bunch of stuff into the graveyard, uh, namely creatures, and then just to play that and overwhelm the opponent. So this looks like an okay hand, and hang on to that. And we're playing against Chappie today, who is playing at least red, green, and white like so it could be some lifelink in there we don't know why don't we go ahead and drop down a forest and then we'll pass the turn so I haven't played Golgari in a while but it seems like most Golgari decks are going to be very very similar um, playing really really big stuff with green and getting stuff back from the graveyard with black so let's play a swamp and start getting that uh, recursion engine going by playing sets your wayfinder He's going to be able to help us find the land. Unfortunately, we find no land, uh, and we have nothing but creatures. I would have loved to have that Brain Maggot, uh, but those go into our graveyard, and we'll pass the turn. The nice thing is that uh, Nemesis of Mortals here costs one less to cast for each creature in our graveyard, so next turn we'll be able to play him, which is <laughs> kind of funny. So we'll have a 5-5 on turn 3, which uh, I can't complain with whatsoever. I'm pretty happy with that. So let's play that and let's play Nemesis. And I probably should have played it later, but he was tapped out, so not a big deal. And he played Hall of Triumphs, so it leads me to believe he's playing some kind of token sub theme here. But nevertheless, we get through one point of damage, we pass the turn, and we see what happens. And I feel like the rest of this game is just going to be severe beatdown. Uh, he's playing red, so I'm a little bit worried about anger. Uh, with my tokens, speaking of which, uh, he's got a good token generator there himself. So perhaps he's not running anger. I guess we'll find out. Uh, let's play that. Hmm, why don't we play the Vengevine as well? It's got a haste. And we just attack with everything, right? Well, maybe not with everything, but... And this is, whenever I cast a spell, if it's the second creature spell I cast this turn, I may return Vengevine from my graveyard to the battlefield. Yeah, that's fine, because we'll be able to play these two guys next turn, so we'll just attack. If we can get his uh, annoying guy out of the way, that's fine. Uh, perhaps I shouldn't have attacked with that, but he's faced with a choice. If he does block the 1-1, one -one, then he's going to be taking 9 damage, so that's fine. I'm okay with that. And basically, I don't think we're going to be too worried about having to wait for Crater Hove Behemoth this uh, this game. We're going to be playing these two guys next, and then it's going to be very, very cheap to monstrous our Nemesis of Mortals. He's going to play Goblin Rabble Master. This is a little bit troubling because his tokens are going to be getting pumped up as well, so we do need to try to trample over him as quickly as possible. could play spider spawning but uh, why don't we just do this first and he's just been replaced by the AI so interesting decision there maybe he didn't have enough good cards in his hand the, the rebel master is really good there and the hall, hall of triumph does very well as well for him so I don't know why that is the case but I think we can monstrosity that uh, which we will prior to combat that's now a 10 10 so at this point I think he sort of has to block and he does have to block both. Well, not both, but in this case he'll be taking four from the Vengevine, he's at six. And I'm not entirely concerned about his token army anymore because, well, we're going to be swinging in with a 10-10 all the time. And then we have spider spawnings to protect against the tokens, so not a big deal. He's going to hit us for four, that's fine. Bring, him by, bring us down to 14. And he plays this thing, okay. I don't know why he gave up though, I mean, it, it is somewhat of a difficult decision to make to just to give up like that, but I guess if you don't think you're going to win, then that does make sense. So what is the best thing for us to do here? Well, why don't we attack first? Let's see what happens. If the Vengevine is blocked, we can get it back into play by playing these two guys, so why don't we attack? He's got to block at least one. So that thing dies. And he gets some tokens. Okay, that's fine. So then in that case, we're going to play uh, Spider Spawning. And 
we're gonna get some blockers. And now we're good. We can just keep uh, keep chugging along here. <laughs> okay. So why don't we block one here? And then we're gonna triple block his guy here. And then we'll just take a few. Two, four, only taking six, not a big deal. So his goblin rabble master is dead. Unfortunately, he just keeps getting more goblins into play. So that's not good at all. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Hmm. So why don't we attack? With these guys? Yeah, it's definitely got a block. And then we will play this. As well as that. Perfect. And we'll pass the turn. Hopefully he doesn't have any more goblins, but... Uh, yeah, he's, he really can't attack at this point. But he does have a... Was that Raid Bombardment? It is. Interesting. Well, I think we do kind of have to seal the deal here, but we can flash back the spiders. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and attack. We'll attack with everything. Well, not everything, but you know. Keep these guys back for defense and we're going to make more, uh, more spiders. And he does have to block again because he will... He will die. Uh, end of turn, let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, that's a lot of spiders, man. <laughs> Perfect. A crater hoof would be really... Oh, no. Wow. Well, I guess he is running anger. God. Well, I, I mean, he just dies here anyway. That was... One way or another. <laughs> Anyway, let's finish this game here and uh, shortly be on to the next game. Alrighty, welcome back for game number two. This is a very, very interesting hand. Unfortunately, there's only two lands, but we do have the Brain Maggot. The thing is, I I don't know if two lands is going to be enough. I really don't. I mean, look at, look at the rest of the stuff in our hand. So I think I do have to draw a new hand. This is a little bit better. At least we have this thing, so that's not too bad. We'll keep that. That Brain Maggot, though, it's pretty fantastic, and especially against Red Blue, it does very, very, very well to remove early game threats. So let's go ahead and play Forest. Very unfortunate that we haven't been getting a lot of our two drops uh, right in the beginning of the game. It does help quite a bit, considerably, in fact, especially with a card draw with the uh, Elvish Visionary. Nevertheless, though, we're going to see what we can do with this hand. There's the Elvish Visionary. Perfect. So we'll go ahead and put that into play. Draw a card. Hopefully it's a land. And indeed, it is a land. So that's perfect. So we'll be able to play a good number of things. Hopefully the Vengevine is uh, four mana, so we'll be able to play that at least. And uh, of course, we can cycle these two. So that's not too bad. At this point now, we can play almost at our, our entire hand. And it looks like he's playing some sort of control deck, so why don't we go ahead and attack first. And let's see if he does anything to it, maybe he'll shock it or something. Maybe he's afraid I've got a Crater Hive Behemoth too, I don't know. Maybe he went through the same traumatic experience as me. <laughs> you guys remember that game back in the day? Well, back in the day. That was like four or five weeks ago, but... That uh, bad experience I had with Crater Hive. So let's go ahead and play this. Satya Wayfinder, he's probably got a counterspell for it. Although, if he counters this, uh, I'd be pretty happy, to be honest with you. Just the fact that he's got three mana up, two of which are blue. I don't have any double black, so this is fine. We have a Shadowborn Demon in the graveyard. That's really nice. I'm grab green. Just the fact that he keeps this mana up with two blue indicates to me that he may be sitting on a counter spell or two or four. And, uh,. Well, he did encounter it, which is good. That was a smart thing to do because I just I have another one that I can play. He's got a Krenko's Command though, 
which I'm not entirely worried about. But I would be hard pressed to believe that he doesn't have some other token generation in there, such as a young pyromancer. So I'm sure he does have something like that in there. When you think is it, you usually think, or at least I usually think, some kind of draw deck with crazy draw spells, a bunch of creatures that take advantage of card draw, and also some burn and some counter spells and such. So, not too bad at all. Uh, we'll play another land, but first of all, let's go to attacks. I'm willing just to swing. If he's going to get aggressive, he can block. That's fine. I've got more where that came from. And in fact, I do better with creatures in my graveyard anyway. So, like I said, I'm happy if he counters stuff. I'm happy if he decides to block against stuff, so why don't we play that, and we'll go ahead and play this. I know we could have played the Vengevine, uh, but I want to save that for later just to see what he's doing. I think it's a little too late to counter spell now, buddy. There you go. Okay, we'll get another forest. And this is good. I mean, in this case, you don't really need Cultivate as much, just because if you can hit these guys on a regular basis and hit at least a few lands, you're going to be fine. Uh, so at the end of his turn, it depends on what he wants to do But at the end of his turn if he decides to attack actually, I'm just gonna block one No, he's not going to Okay, so at the end of his turn, we're going to cycle this for a Card draw, which is always good. We got our spider spawning. That's fantastic As long as we can keep getting stuff in the graveyard right now. We have just one two Three we have only four creatures in the graveyard, so it's not really worth it to play that right now. But we can go ahead and lay down a land. And I'm not sure if I should bait this. But the thing is... Yeah, might as well. Let's just do it. Because if he counters it, we can always just bring it back by playing more creature spells. Which I'm perfectly fine with doing. So, I mean, I think he's just reading the card right now and probably realizing that it's not worth it to just counter it right now. Especially since blue typically has things like Vapor Snags, uh, just other balance effects, so why don't we attack with everything? And just get nice and aggressive. If anything, he may have a bounce. In that case, I hope he bounces my Visionary. <laughs> so he's going to block Vengevine, and he's going to block a Satya Wayfinder as well. So he's going to take two damage, bringing him down to... F oh, what's this? Okay, so he's going to kill the Vengevine that way. Okay, that's fine. That is fine with me. So, basically what I'm going to do next turn is I'm probably going to play something small if I get like a 2-drop or something. And then I'll try to play... Yes, this is exactly what I needed. We have 6, and this is going to cost 4, 5. Okay, so unfortunately we're not going to be able to do both, but we will be able to Brain Maggot and I don't know if I should force... You know what? Why don't I go to attacks first? Let's see what he does. If he's got another shock and he wants to tap out for something, that's perfectly fine. Okay, he doesn't. So, second main, we're going to play the Brain Maggot. I wonder if he doesn't have a counter spell and he's just... Okay, he's going to think twice. And four cards in hand now. And I wonder if he just drew that nullify. Very interesting. So in response to that, why don't we draw a card? What is he doing? Okay, perfect. I don't think this is worth to bring back right now, so we'll just pass the turn. And the nice thing is, next turn we can play either of these big baddies, or we can play our other guys, but I feel like I want to play the Nemesis of Mortals first. What is this? Oh, Goblin Electromancer. Okay. He's gonna hit me? Okay. I guess he's just trying to catch up, so that's fine. So I wonder, if I can unearth this, I think this comes back as an attacker with haste, but then I think it gets exiled. So the smart thing for me to do would then be to play the spider spawning first, and then use them later to attack. Because this gives me more spiders based on the amount of creatures I have in my graveyard. If those two creatures are exiled, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get those two extra spiders. So 
more value for my money. What's going on here, buddy? Are you going to play anything? Or are you just going to sit there? No. Fat, dumb, and happy. Come on. You know, it's, it's still your turn, believe it or not. I don't know, maybe his mom told him to go throw out the garbage or something. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. AFK, gotta throw out the garbage. There he goes. Okay, well, fortunately we're not doing too bad for Lance. Uh, let's play another Black Source, and... Oh, he's only got two. So, he may have a negate. He might not. But fortunately, this is going to cost us very, very little. And I think in order to play both, I should have really just played the forest, which is kind of a little silly on my part, but no, that's fine. So, let's go to combat. And just attack with both. Okay, what's he gonna do? Ah, I did exactly what I wanted him to do. Perfect. Well then, what we're going to do is we're actually going to bring back... What do we want to bring back? Let's bring back... Actually, let's bring back Shadowborn Demon. Okay. And we're going to sacrifice this guy. So we can draw a card. The nice thing is Shadowborn Demon comes in at the beginning of our next turn. And then we just get to kill that thing. And he can't counter it because it's an effect. So, that's pretty good. And you know what's cool is, if he decides to attack, I've still got enough mana to unearth one of those guys to block, so... Why don't we go ahead and pass the turn? Or, then again, do I? No, I don't think I can. I think unearth is only on my turn, so that's kind of unfortunate. But that's fine. We pass the turn. He's got four cards in hand. I'm at 17 life. I'm not exactly scared to take two here. That's absolutely fine. And I just want to weed out as many counter spells as I possibly can, so... It doesn't look like he's going to do anything else here. He's going to pass the turn. That Electromancer's just got to go, though. So fortunately, Shadowborn Demon comes back. You get to ping that. You can't exactly counter it, my friend. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we do have six creatures in the graveyard. Which means that we don't have to sacrifice anything. The Shadowborn Demon will be in play. Well, we got a lot of options here. First of all, let's go to attack. And I think second main, I want to play two Nemesis of Mortals. So let's do that. Oh man. Well, I guess I could have played that before. I wonder if he's got a counter spell though. I guess I should have played that before combat, thinking about the Vengevine coming back. Wow, so he did have a counter spell. It's fine. We'll just play this as well. And we just empty out our hand. So at this point, if he's got an Anger of the Gods, I'm not too, too worried. It will exile this. It'll exile that. And it'll exile this. But we have a 5 5 and a 5 6 in play. He's gonna bolt something. I wonder if he's gonna like double bolt and shock. Yeah, that's fine. Oh my goodness, really? <laughs> okay. Uh, that is fine. That's... Wow. Well, Shadowborn Demon is no more. But he did his job, so I'm perfectly fine with that. What's really cool is now he's giving me so many more things to do with my spider spawning, and he's just been replaced by AI. So, yeah. Let's go to attacks. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's lethal. Alrighty, guys, welcome back for game three. This is our final game of the evening. And looking at our land base, this is not too bad. Again, I'm really not drawing into these two drops, but we do have enough land. We've got the guild gate. Uh, so two sources of green, three sources of black, and a bunch of black in our hands. So that's fine. And we're going to start it off with the guild gate then. 
and pass it on to Polar Ice Cap. <laughs> Interesting name. Alright. Well, we're playing against black here, so this is interesting. Draw another land, which is good, I suppose. Play ourselves a swamp and pass the turn. I guess next turn, unless we get in nothing else, we'll be able to play that and follow it up with a Graveborn Muse the turn after. And he's going to play a 2-1 life, like Child of Night. Very interesting. So he might be playing some kind of lifelink there, but I believe that is red. It's kind of hard to see. They really got a change this up so that people can see what's under all these other lands so let's go ahead and play that and then we'll play our necromancer's assistant I'm getting a bunch of stuff in the graveyard what do we got oh not too bad I think if he attacks I am just gonna block or not. Is he gonna shoot our guy? Yeah. Nice. Shock on an enchantment. Not too bad at all. So he's gonna hit us for two. We're gonna go down 18. He's gonna go up to 22. And it doesn't look like he's gonna be playing anything else for this turn because he has tapped out. Uh, ooh, Crater Hoof, that's interesting. Alright, well, let's go ahead and play our Graveborn Muse. What does this do? Chain Creature enters the battlefield, deals 3 damage to target creature or player, and Chain Creature has first strike. Okay. Well, I mean, that's fine. We've got a 3 3 at this point, so if he decides to attack, uh, this thing's gonna die off. Uh, but he might have a shock too, so I'm gonna be kind of worried about that if he decides to attack. Hmm. You know what? I like my card draw. I don't think I'm going to block it quite yet, because he may have a shock. And he does have five cards in hand, so it's very probable that he does. And, yeah, just the fact that he didn't play anything else uh, leads me to believe that he does indeed have a shock. That's interesting. Uh, well, why don't we go to combat, then? I mean, I know we could have played that, but I want, I want the bigger guy in play, so why don't we just do that? We're going to attack. And second main, we're going to play our big 5-5 five five beater. And now I'm not too worried if he's got a shock because it'll be basically two damage and he'll need one more. The only thing I'm worried about is if he's got like, yeah, that. That's a 5-1. Mm, should I just block? He's got five cards in hand. And he's going to be gaining a lot of life, so I think I am just going to block. I don't want to be taking any more life, because the Graveborn Muse is going to be taking life off of me. Oh no, it's got first strike. Oh god, I forgot about that. Uh, well, that's... Mildly disappointing. Hmm. I'm going to pass, and I'm not going to go to attacks, and when he decides to attack again, I'm going to block, and then I'm going to do this. That was really silly of me. I don't know why I did that. I, did, I completely forgot that this thing had first strike. Uh, he's going to play a 3 to Intimidate. That's fine. He's going to go to attacks, because why not? Fortunately, he's not going to be gaining the life gain here. Okay, so I'm going to block. And then I'm going to get back. Why don't we get this back, man? Honestly. And then we'll have both of them in play again. So I don't think he's gaining the life because he's not doing any damage. And then on my turn, I get the stuff back. Play land for turn. Hmm, and now the question is... I think I just passed because I can monstrous this now. How much is it going to cost? 7, 8, 9. Let's 
It's going to cost me three less, so it's going to cost me six. So I have four, five, six. I have exactly enough to monstrous, so I can't play anything else. I'm not going to bother attacking. And I'm just going to wait. And I'm going to see if he realizes that I can monstrous this, because I think he sees that I have four, five, six land open, and this costs nine, so hopefully he doesn't catch that. But he thinks he will, and he might not attack. And you know what? That's fine. I'm happy if he doesn't attack. And he's at 26 life anyway, so not a big deal. Another Lightning Talons. My goodness. Now he's attacking his... Uh, he's attaching his 6-2. And I think he's going to swing with his Intimidate. He's going to swing with both. Okay. Well. I can only block the one. And what a monstrous. Oh, man. Well, we take six. He gains five. And there's not much he can do about that. There's only two damage, though. I wish there was a way for me to kill that. Well, let's see what we draw. This Graveborn Muse, though, it's a bit of a problem. Can we kill him right now? I don't think we can. We can Crater Hoof. Crater Hoof's got haste. That's five. Then he pumps everything else up. Uh, creatures you control gain plus X plus X until end of turn. X is the more creatures you control. So everything will get plus three plus three. So that would be a 13. That would be a six. So that's 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. It'll be 24 damage. It wouldn't be enough. He's gonna, he's gonna shock. So that's fine. Why don't we get this? Because at least we can block. Oh no, I guess we can't block. That was kind of silly. Well, let's see what we can get. We need to be able to get something. Shieldred. Oh, the Shadowborn Demon would have been nice. I just don't think we can take another six. I think we're just dead. Unless we can get something else here. No, I think we're dead. Well, that's quite unfortunate. I think we are just dead here. Um, maybe not though. Because we have a black creature, right? So what does Intimidate say? Can only be blocked by creatures that share color with them. And or artifact creatures. So, no, I think we're fine. I mean, it's got first strike. But then we can just block with that. So, um... Well, I guess I should have attacked. That was kind of silly. But we're just going to stay back. And uh, at this point... I mean, he's got to kill me with burn. Or that. That's got haste. So he's probably going to attack with both. I mean, he should. Unless now he's just going to wait. But if he waits, he's going to die, because I'm going to create her have next turn. Uh, or in fact, I could just Shadowborn Demon. And I'm not too worried about this. So that's fine. Yeah, he's going to attack with both. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'm going to block like so. And I'm going to block like so. Oh, you know what? Let's use the big guy just in case. It's first strike. That's fine. I know. I just didn't want the Graveborn Muse anymore because I'm at 5 life. So, let's Shadowborn. Gonna kill his intimidate. And I think we're finally back in charge here at five life. So hopefully it doesn't have anything like a triple shock or something crazy. Let's go ahead and attack for 16. And uh, unless he manages to do six or five damage to us, we basically win next turn. So it's not too bad. And why don't we play this as well? I'm glad he attacked because. Um, he could have just sat there, you know, and done nothing. And waited for me to be killed by my own Graveborn Muse. Okay, he's gonna play a Vampire. That's okay. 3-2 Vampire. Is it fly? No. Well, I think we just win here, guys. <laughs> gonna play Crater of Behemoth and just Stampede in. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Friday Night Magic. If you like what you saw, please make sure to thumb up and subscribe as well. Leave any comments that you might have in the comment section below. And uh, thank you for joining me, guys. It was uh, a lot of fun.
Make sure to chew, check out the blog as well as sspgaming.blogspot.com and join me next week for more Friday Night Magic. See you later, guys. Have a good one. Bye for now.